गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द सेकंड चैप्टर द सन द मून एंड द अर्थ इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द मून लेट्स रिकैप इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द अर्थ ओके वी हैव सीन द अर्थ हैज इट्स ओन एक्सिस एंड वी आल्सो हैव सीन द अर्थ रोटेट्स ऑन इट ओन एक्सिस एंड इट रिवॉल्व्स इट रोटेशन टेक 24 फोर आवर्स एंड रिवॉल्यूशन टेक्स थ्री डेज और थ्री डेज and we have also learned the orbit of the earth is elliptical it revolves around the sun the sun do not go anywhere sun has a fixed place and earth revolves around the sun on its elliptical orbit and we also have learned that the earth do not have its own light earth get the light from the sun okay now same way the moon also has the same feature like a earth moon also has its own axis it also rotates it also revolves and it rotates on its own axis and it revolves around the earth and it also have the elliptical orbit and moon also do not have its own light moon get light from the sun as the earth also get the light from the sun the moon also get the light from the sun and it revolves around earth and the earth or uh, revolution orbit is elliptical elliptical means oval in shape with the help of this diagram we will learn about the moon's position this blue, blue color oval you can see oval shape this is the orbit of the moon and uh, you can see from one side the moon is closer to the earth and the another side the moon is far away from the earth as i have taught you all that moon revolves around the earth on its elliptical orbit okay because of this elliptical orbit both the side of the moon is not at the equal distance at the one side the moon is near to the earth when the moon is near to the earth that we say as a perigee and from the other side the moon is far away from the earth that we say a apogee it is a now the distance between the moon and the earth in a perigee is about 356000 km and the distance of apogee of the moon position is about 47000 km you might have heard from your friends or from your grandmother that we can only see the one phase of the moon okay the reason is that the rotation and revolution time of the moon is same because of this reason we can only see the one side of the moon let's start with the phases of the moon come students now we will plug and play and let's begin with the phases of the moon the moon revolves around the earth in a fixed orbit as you can see the moon does not have its own light sun gives light to the moon When the moon is between the earth and the sun we cannot see the moon at all This is because the side of the moon facing the earth does not get sunlight This is called the new moon After 2 to 3 days we can see some part of the moon This phase is called a waxing crescent. As the moon is gaining light that is expanding in illumination we use the term waxing. About a week after a new moon we can see half of the moon This phase is called first quarter. 
Two or three days after the first quarter, more than half of the moon is visible. This phase is called the waxing gibbous. About two weeks after the new moon, we can see the full moon. This is because the full side of the moon facing the earth getting sunlight. Now, the moon begins its return journey from the full moon to the new moon. The next phase is called waning gibbous. As the moon is now losing light, decreasing in illumination, we use the term waning. The next phase is the last quarter followed by waning crescent. When the moon comes back between the earth and the sun, it enters the new moon phase again. Number of days between two moon is 29 as a moon takes approximately 29 days to revolve once around the earth. This changing shape of the moon are called phases of the moon.